This video explains the solutions for quantitative reasoning for test 2.4, especially the last seven questions in the GRE graduate record exam test preparation. The first question has got a table and how many students are either juniors or males or both? We have got two tables, one representing the total enrollment of 1,400 with different male and female students in classes like freshmen, sophomore, juniors and seniors. The second table talks about the different majors enrolled in subjects like humanities, social sciences, physical sciences. So if you are trying to find how many students are either juniors or male or both, the junior will be both male and female, 182 plus 82, which is 270. If you want to find the probability of A or B, if there is something common, then P of A plus P of B minus P of A and B will be the probability of A or B. Now, since we have got some students, those who are juniors as well as males, if I am trying to find probability of juniors or males or both, then probability of complete males is 860, probability of complete juniors is 270, and I have to subtract the common 182 who are males and junior, junior males. So if I subtract that, I'll get that answer as 948, and my answer is C. Next question has the same chart of class enrollment and the different majors. Which of the following statement can be true? So since the different majors are given in terms of percentage, let's find the number of students enrolled in each major. So 33 percentage of 1,400 gives me 462 humanity students. 30% of 1,400 gives me 420 students in social science. 24% of 1,400 gives me 336 in physical sciences. So if I'm taking the statement A, the number of male majoring in physical science, which is 336, and the number of female majoring in that area is 540. So I don't get a result which is 2 is to 1. B is either social science or physical sciences um, 420 plus 336 756. 50% of the total enrollment will be 336. So you get that as 2 is to 1. The ratio of the number of males to the number of females will be 160 to 84. That is also 2 is to 1. So the choices are B and C. The next question, there are two quantities S and T which are positive, satisfying the relation S equals K by T. K is a constant. S is increased by 50 percentage and we are trying to find what is the value that T decreases and what is the percentage. Now S increases by 50 percentage. So original is S and it is increased to 50 percentage. With S I have to add half S. S plus half S gives me 3 halves S. 3 halves S is my change in S. That is my new S is three and a half S. But T, I do not know what is the change. So let me take that as just T new. So I have these equations, S equal to KT, which gives me ST equal to K. And since I'm adding 50% increase to S, S plus S by 2 will be 3 halves S, which is my new S. 
multiplied by new by my new t will be the same constant k so since the right hand sides are the same i can equate the left hand side 3 halves s t new will be s t so simplifying this i can find t my new t to be 2 third of t so it looks like the original t is reduced and only two third of the original t is my new t so the decrease change will be 1 minus 2 third for t which is 1 third 1 third is nothing but 0.33 since we have to give the answer in terms of percentage it will be 33 0.333 percentage or 33 one third percentage which is my option b for the next question if x and y are 10 digits and the unit digits x is the 10 digit y is my unit digit respectively and in this product we have to find what is x plus y i have a large numeral here but i need not multiply the whole uh, numeral instead I can multiply only the 10th digit and the unit digit because that's what we need. So let us multiply only that uh, 78 and 66. So we need to use the 10th and unit digits to get the 10th and unit digits of the product. So let us take 78 to 66. Instead of taking the whole product, let us take only the 10th and unit digits in this product. So that product gives me 5. 1148 and in this final result my 10th digit and the unit digit are 4 and 8 and 4 is my x 8 is my y so x is 4 y is 8 i need x plus y so when i add x and y 4 plus 8 gives me 12 and my option is a the next question a developer has land that has x feet of lake frontage. The land is to be subdivided into lots, each of which has to be either 80 feet or 100 feet in the frontage. So, one ninth of the lots are to have 80 feet of frontage, and the remaining 40 lots are to have 100 feet of frontage. So if I'm treating A to be the number of 8 feet lot and B to be the number of 100 feet lot, it says that 8 ninth of the lot, total lot is A and 1 ninth of the total lot is B. And it is also given that 40 lots are to have 100 feet of front age. So 100 feet of front age is 40 my b is 40. So <clears throat> if I want to find what a is, a is number of 100 feet lots divided by 8 which is 40 divided by 8, 5. So my b is 40, a is 5. So when I substitute this, 80a plus 100b gives me 80 times 5 plus 100 times 40 which is 4,400. Option is D. And in this 24th question, there are 12 numbers which are representing the age in years of 12 houses. We have to find the median age. When we always find the median, we pick the middle term after sorting them out. So first we have to sort them out. Now, we have one unknown y. So, when we sort them out, maybe we can sort them out like this because y is a single digit. y can be either less than 8 or it can be greater than 8. It can be, it will lie between 10 and 8. I can take y to be after 8 or in between 10 and 8. So, I have these two options. In either case, the middle terms are the, just those two, 10, 10. So the average of those two will be my median, and hence my median is 10 in this case. 
In the last question, we have a line segment PQ and we have a circle of radius 1 with a center phi 2. So when we take this, the points on uh, the diagonals of uh, um, the, sorry, on the extremes of the diameters will be the vertical diameter, you'll have phi 3, phi 1 because only the y value changes, the x value is the same. On the horizontal diameter, the edges are 4, 2 and 6, 2 because the y value is the same, x value varies. The midpoint of the line is 1, 2. We have to find the mid the line, and distance between this line segment and the point on the circle. So the minimum distance will be the distance between the midpoint and the point 4, 2, which is 3. And the maximum distance will be between Q and 6, 2, or P and 6, 2. So the maximum distance is 6 minus 1, the whole square, 2 minus 3, the whole square, or 2 minus 1, the whole square, which is square root of 26, 5.09, which is both uh, Q to 6, 2 and P to 6, 2 will give you square root of 26. And the minimum distance is between 1, 2 to 4, 2, which is 3. And hence, the maximum distance is 5.09, minimum distance is 3. So my choices are B, C, D, E, and this video explained the solutions for the last part of test 2.4 in the quantitative reasoning exam of the GRE graduate record exam sample questions. This video will help you to prepare for your GRE exams. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching.